You guys may have seen the reports floating around that Zenimax Online had axed 300 jobs from the Elder Scrolls Online Galway office in Ireland for customer service. And these were due to claims from the Connaught Tribune, which basically claimed that 300 jobs had been lost. However, since that initial claim was made, there have actually been various rebuttals to this and then rebuttals to the rebuttals. Basically, on the Elder Scrolls Online forums, which I will link in the description below if you wish to read, a Gina Bruno tried to claim that actually only 50 staff had been laid off due to their contacts ex contracts rather expiring. Now, this was then contradicted by some employees, former employees, who confirmed that people were let go even after they were supposed to be made permanent employees. Now let me go with the official statement from Zenimax, or a Zenimax rep, should we say, regarding the initial claim of 300 firings. Now this reads, quote, We adjusted customer support levels in mid-August by reducing staffing by approximately 50 to reflect the game's stability and the needs of our players. This is a normal practice. We have been diligently working with the IDA and the employees affected by this decision since this summer. We are disappointed by the inaccuracies in the report of the Connaught Tribune. But following that comment, there were, as I said, comments made by former employees. Now, there was a post on Reddit, which I, of course, will link in the description as well. So it's a forum post and a Reddit post that will be below. And the statements were basically verified by people on Reddit to be the actual statements of a former employee. So... Here's what the first employee had to say, and I'm sort of going to give you the cliff notes as his actual thing is rather lengthy. If you want to read it all, again, the link is below. So, quotes, There had been several phases of aggressive recruitment and equally as aggressive layoffs. Not that they shouted people out of the building, although I did witness one or two such events. But the manner in which people were laid off was very last minute and didn't appear to follow any pattern. Regardless of contract type, thinning the herd was happening and staff were clueless about who was next. Yes, I was part of the layoff. In that, the site is all but completely shut down now having peaked at around 500 staff. There is around 5 or 6 staff left at the site, but there seems to be more of a symbolic move to appease the IDA who developed the site. And then a second employee chimed in saying, quote, The only people that are still working there are a separate team that doesn't have to, anything to do with support. It is the localization team plus one manager, one IT and one HR left. The localization team is part of the US team and doesn't even have a manager in Ireland. And then the first employee chimed in again saying, quote, It's worth noting that the people who remain in the building as bottled up indicated are not quite on Zenimax contracts either. They are contracted by Bethesda as far as I'm aware. To that end, there are no Zenimax online slash media staff left in Ireland. The site has been running on an overburdened and vastly under-equipped support platform for a long time. Very poor tools, much of a declining environment of customer first to tickets closed. Probably best describes the last year. September 2014 saw the biggest cut where 75% of staff were let go in an afternoon and no further investments were made by way of developer or support tools. Now what seems to be the case is that this 300 number that Con the Connaught Tribune quoted is actually all the firings that have taken place this year. So the whole of this year. But the wording did make it seem like they'd fired 300 people all at once. But it seems to be the case that they're talking about over the year, there has been 300 people let go. And thusly, as the employees have said, and as I said, their identity was verified. And I, again, I will link the sources for this, these claims in, this, in the description. Have said that there's basically no one left in this office. So basically, they do not have a presence in Ireland anymore. That being, of course, Zenimax Online. So there you have it, a bit of a mess and miscommunication and misunderstanding going on, but regardless of how many people were let go, it's still crappy to happen just before Christmas, and obviously the people who lost their jobs previously, that's also crappy, and if the reports of bad customer service are true, then this isn't a good sign, but uh, my best luck, my best wishes of best luck, sorry, to the people who have lost their jobs, especially if you just lost it just before Christmas, but yeah. Not good, not good for the game at the end of the day, and not good for the employees. I hope they have found or will find something quite soon, and hope they manage to have a good Christmas. And of course, to all of you as well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.